In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can interactively move a 3D object inside a web browser using Blend for Web. I'll show you how you can link logic nodes together and loop back to make the logic to move the object. Before you can do this tutorial, you have to install the Blend for Web Software Development Kit SDK. Go to their website www.blendforweb.com, download the SDK and follow the instructions there to install it. Change the view to the top view, select the lamp, use the tip of the green arrow to move it down, change the view to the front view, with the mouse pointer in the middle of the screen, drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view. Select the cube and press X to delete it. Add Mesh Cone. Click the Object Properties button and set the X location to 3 and the Y rotation to 180. And name the cone Cone Down. Add Mesh Cone. Set the X location to 1 and name the cone Cone Up. Add Mesh Monkey and set the X location to minus 3. Click the Material button. Click the New Material button. Click the Diffuse color and set the green and the blue values to 0. Select the cone. Click the New Material button. Click the Diffuse color and set the red and the green values to 0. Select the other cone. Click the Browse Material button and select the blue material. Change Shading to Smooth. In the View menu, Align View, Align Active Camera to View. Now I'm going to start to use Blend for Web's features, so change Blender Render to Blend for Web. Drag to make the Timeline window bigger. Change the type of window to Node Editor and click the Blend for Web Logic Nodes button. Click the Scene Properties button. Open up the Logic Editor panel. Tick to use the Logic Editor. Click the Plus to create a new Logic Node tree. Click the Browse button and select the new tree. In the View menu, we don't need the Properties panel. Zoom in with the mouse wheel and use Control and mouse wheel to move the entry point to the side. Add Operations Variable Store and connect the new node to the entry point node. By default, Blend for Web comes with eight variables for you to use. I'm going to use the first one, R1. I want the type to be number and the node lets you set the initial value of the variable, which I want to be zero. Add, control flow, switch select. Connect the node up. This node will fire when the cone up object is selected. Add, operations, math operation. And connect the node up. Add, a value of 1 to the variable R1 and store the result back in R1. Add object transform object. Connect the new node up. The object we want transformed is the monkey. We want its X location to stay the same, minus 3 and we want its Z location to be controlled by the variable R1. I want to be able to click the up cone multiple times to move the monkey up. So I need to loop back to the switch select node, but the link goes across the nodes. A tidier way to do it is to use reroute nodes. Add layout reroute once you place a reroute node, if you want to move it again, press G for grab. Now we can loop back, 
without crossing the nodes. To test the nodes, click Fast Preview. and the scene loads in your default browser. Click the up cone and the monkey goes up. To make the monkey go down, we don't have to add another switch select. We can just add another socket. Click the plus and link the new socket to the cone down. We do need to add another math operation node and connect that to the cone down socket and onto the transform node. This time I'm going to add minus 0.5 to the variable R1 and I'm going to change the value in the other node as well. To change the background colour click the world button, click render sky, click the horizon colour, set the red to 0.2, the green to 0.4 and the blue to 0.6. Click the plus to open up the properties panel, scroll down, open up the display panel and tick world background. Click fast preview. And the scene loads into the browser. Clicking the up cone, the monkey goes up Clicking down goes down. Because there is no physics and no texture files, I can simply export a single HTML file. The exported HTML file can be accessed from anywhere. It doesn't need a local server to open. And the single file can be uploaded to a web server to give internet access. It's fully 3D and interactive. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the finished file for you to download at my website. Click the link or the eye icon. If you'd like to subscribe, click the link or the stickman. Thanks for watching and goodbye.